my name is Sarah and today we're going to be making a multi divination system reading board. So I got this woodcut from Walmart. I think it cost me a total of $7 and I wanted to see if I could make um, a reading board that had multiple systems with it. So I have two tarot cards, one ohm stab, and then a couple of runes that can fit and I was just trying to figure out how would be the best way to make everything fit. In addition to having everything fit, it also had to be functional. It had to give me a well-rounded reading while incorporating all of the elements, the divination systems that I wanted to incorporate. So in the end, I was able to um, lay out two tarot cards, the astrology dice, runes, three runes, and uh, an oam stav. So how the reading lays out is as follows. The two tarot cards indicate the situation, and then the second tarot card is what crosses you, or the blockage of the situation. And then we have the astrology dice, which are laid out on top, which indicates um, the energy that is affecting the situation. And with the astrology dice, it tells you, you know, the house, the zodiac, and the planet, which gives you a lot of insight to outside forces of your reading and the situation. On the right side of the woodcut, I have an area for the OM staff. I find that OMs are very good for advice as they often read like an oracle. On the bottom, I have an area for the future outcome. And in these little circles are the areas for the runes, for the Elder Futhark runes and you would at that point you would draw from a bag and pull out three runes and that would be the final reading um, for your future at this point i am using watercolor to um, make the board more aesthetically pleasing um, i am definitely a novice when it comes to using watercolor However, I have developed my own technique um, and I have named it uh, the whoops. And um, it's, uh, I mean, it works out for me. So, uh, you know, so far so good. I really like interactive witchy or magical objects. If I can look at something that's aesthetically pleasing and it has an additional function, to me that is like the best combination. On the far right side of the board, I wanted to kind of leave it open, so to speak. Um, I did put in like a third eye um, image and I can also use an actual Oracle card that would just take up that entire space if I didn't want to use um, an OM at the time. I did end up painting my moon cycle board a, a while back and I really love the coloration and it kind of matches this new one so I'm quite pleased with how it turned out. I think I might do the same sparkle paint on my old moon board as well just to kind of make it all matchy matchy. So now that the board is all done, let's bust out the old Rider weight and give it a test run, see how it looks. We have the situation and what crosses. Obviously this is not a real reading, so it doesn't really matter too much. And we'll use our good old astrology dice, shaky shaky, and place them up in the heavens area. As you notice, I kind of try to make the top area kind of like the sky to represent what is above. And now we're going to put in the runes. Of course, you know, you would, in a real reading, you would use a, a bag and shake them all up and then pull out your three 
to have your future outcome. And then for advice, same concept as the runes. You would have a bag of of oems, and then you would pull out your fortune or your advice. And in the third eye area, you can have like a special stone, you know, a meditation stone or some other little object that has you know, significance to you, whether it's a stone or charm of some sort. And just for another comparison, we'll use the wild unknown just to see how the aesthetics play out. And yeah, it's funny, the devil crosses me, of course, like always. Um, and then of course, you know, we put in our astrology dice and some different shape runes. These ones are um, Bloodstone, which that was actually my first set, but uh, we'll save that for another video. And different Oem and a different stone. This one is Labradorite and one of my favorite stones. And it's also good for um, divination purposes, so it's also fitting. And that is my board in a nutshell. So thanks for watching and bye!